Hey everybody, this is Pramita here and uh, this is a video long time coming. I have these two journals listed in my shop. These are winter journals and um, uh, but the video that I had done didn't work out so well so I decided to do another one. Uh, over here what I've done is um, these are two separate journals listed separately and one is called Blue Moon and the other is called Blue Winter. So this is called Blue Moon and this is Blue Winter. I'm going to do a flip separately so no worries. So this is Blue Moon. Let me start um, with this. Uh, these journals are standard size traveler's notebook. They have a fabric reinforced spine and there is one pocket at the front behind these uh, this image and the other is a lace pocket at the back. So, um, and there is also a tiny bulb pin sort of uh, charm that is attached uh, on the cover. You can take it off, of course, and they are tied with organza ribbon, white organza ribbon. So I'm going to open this up. This is Blue Moon, and this is how it looks. So uh, the cover image is from Artemis. Um, she has this on her site. And what I've done is I've just layered that on a piece of uh, bluish uh, cardstock and then vintage book page, then this image. And this word is also from Artemis' uh, site. Artemis' site. This is a freebie. And um, here I have a small spool, uh, kind of, you know, the thread spool tag sort of thing and a bunch of laces as you can see I've just um, you know it's like a waterfall kind of thing I wanted to bring that snowy effect so I did this and there is uh, this lace at the bottom which is curling up I don't know why so this is at the bottom so this is how it's looking and somebody had asked me about the pom-pom trims um, now let me be honest, not all the pom-pom trims are the, are the colors that I want. So what I do is when I don't get my desired color, I dye them. So this is also some hand-dyed pom-pom trim. I have used alcohol ink to dye them. So, um, so that's something I wanted to um, just put it out there. So uh, yeah. So uh, some of the laces are also dyed. If I come across them, I'll just point them out. So um, this is the bulk pin and this is the cover. Let me open this and this is the front front part. So this is the pocket attached to the front cover. And over here you can see again some lace that I've used. Let me show you some trims and lace and I've done a bit of collage with die cuts and papers that I've used. Most of the papers are from Stamperia and uh, some are from other brands but um, they are in coordinating colors. So uh, let me take these things off. They have, uh, these two journals have 64 pages each front and back ex excluding the cover. So this is the tag and this is another you know ticket tag whatever. So you can use them and this is an envelope, uh, this is actually vellum that I have dyed um, in green and blue and then I've added this hand dyed pom pom trim so you get a little bit of ephemera inside uh, that you can use in your journaling. So this is the journal card, uh, This is a, there is a weird kind of shadow, anyways. So this is the journal card and this is a tag that you can use to journal. So that goes in inside this and this book stays tucked inside this front pocket. This is another pocket at the front. I've done a bunch of collage and here is a journal card. This is actually a postcard. This is from Stamperia and I've just added a bit of lace and silk trim. Uh, sari silk. This is. Uh, I love this color. You know, this is a very deep blue, sort of a midnight blue, you can say, but not quite. Uh, so I've added that, and I've also added some ruffle at the edge, um, some lace trim, and this is a pocket where you have some more tags that you can journal onto. Um, some stenciling. So this is basically a, 
uh, wintry bluish kind of journal you can say uh, this is another pocket that I've collaged a lot of stuff napkin some book page image some scraps that I had and again you get a ton of ephemera so again some ephemera to go with it and I absolutely love these um, you know lamps a bird cage sort of look these are all from Stamparia so again on the other side there is another pocket uh, these are full pocket I've done collage and then I've stitched also um, this is another postcard you can see another postcard and that goes in here some stenciling this is a dot grid paper some doily how beautiful is this page this is also from stamp area so this has this pom pom trim and this is a pocket that I had done with a bunch of collage you know lots of threads very tactile kind of thing I love to do that um, so somebody is trying to send me a message perhaps some blue lined page some printable book page some blank page uh, this is actually a book page so what I've done is I've added some journaling spot and then done some decoupage around it so that it doesn't look so bare and this is the other side I've done some little bit of gesso so you can write or do something over here also um, some vellum page look how lovely this image is I absolutely love this image and what I've done is I've added some tabs you know just to give them a little bit of pop here is a pocket again a lot of collages a lot of collages and I've added some postcard from my stash Sorry. and again a tag from stamp area some lined paper this is a vintage book page um, some page from stamp area again some lace trims uh, here you have a small beaded charm I hope you can see it some beaded charm again it's attached with a bulb pin so you can take it off if you don't like again some pocket and all the pockets are you know they mostly have a kind of lace snippet collage um, some tags then uh, this is the middle of the signature and in the middle what I've done is I have used a window envelope and I've done some collage and what you see is you have a big tag over here big pocket with a tag that goes in in this pocket okay and then at the top there is another pocket so you have another tag over here And you have the same thing on the other side, another tag on this side, and on this side there is another journal card. So you can see this. So I've done a little bit of collage over here, some blank page, again a pocket that I've done collage. Almost all the pockets are uh, have some sort of collage elements. So again some okay so this is an envelope which has a vellum pocket so, and I've added some tag into this vellum pocket so you can use it as a floating pocket somewhere in your journal and this is a small tag uh, some side tuck again I've done some collage sort of thing you can see a um, little bit of lace collage and here I have added two more journaling cards that can go in here. This page is from Stamparia. I don't remember exactly the name of the kit. I wish I could but it's been a while these papers have come out. So these are not very new collections. Um, sorry. Something just popped out. Okay. And here there is an envelope. So what I've done to the envelope is um, I have collaged 
some added some snippet sort of thing on the you know envelope cover and here we have some journaling ephemera and this just closes up and this is another tag sort of thing you can use so what I've done is um, I've just attached this with some paper clip that if you want you can take off and use it somewhere else this is a coin pocket and what I've added is some ephemera that is actually a blue um, feather kind of journal card that goes in again that pom pom trim that I have dyed and here is another bit of lace that I have dyed um, some lace piece and I've just added some lace trim uh, lace piece at the uh, silk piece at the top just to give some tactile um, features you know throughout again this is actually an altered um, envelope sort of thing this is actually a pocket uh, so we have a journal card inside that goes in sorry and this is actually an envelope that I've used on the book page and when you turn this you see another journal card so and there is also some writing space over here so you can use that also some this is actually a tuck spot just a second yeah. so this is actually a tuck spot and you can keep something here this is the printable book page this is actually uh, this is from Stamperia and this is actually a Rolodex pocket sort of thing some doily some dot grid page grid page light stenciling not much and again one of those collaged pockets and here is another journal card that you can journal and this is another envelope okay so let me show you so what I've done is um, again this does not have anything inside you can just uh, I've just popped it so that you can use it anywhere so uh, this is a CD case uh, envelope that I have done it just has a general card inside nothing else and this is a double pocket actually you have a tuck over here and you have another pocket over here so the CD case goes in here you can use it anywhere in your journal I've just kept it floating and these two are journal cards that can go in here and I've added a tiny tab at the top this is another um, large pocket and it has a large tag also so you can journal over here and some lace collage that I've done on the other side there is this Tim Holtz photo booth tie pocket and you get a ton of stuff tiny stuff that came in the stamp area papers um, some smaller stuff lots of stuff and I've done some little bit of collaging over here with die cuts and other stuff here is another pocket this is the back this is the back of the journal inside so uh, what I've done is I've added this die cut doily you can use it anywhere you like so that um, some tag and again one of those jelly bean soup pockets and it comes with a tiny tiny ephemera pieces that you can use in your journal some tiny bits and pieces sometimes you need some just to add a little bit of pop so I've used that and these all go inside this back pocket so. okay so this is blue moon so this is going to be listed as blue moon in my shop and what I've done is on one of the tags I have made some bead attachments I hope you can see them um, so these are actually tabs and I've attached some tiny beads to them and these are hung on strings so if you don't like you can uh, unstring them of course you can take it off 
but I think it adds so much of uh, interest to your journal and um, kind of style also. So at the back you have another journal card, one of those wintry ones and this is called Blue Moon and now we are going to do another flip of the Blue Winter. So this is Blue Winter. Again it has 64 pages and as you can see they, it comes with a ton of ephemera. Uh, both of them come with a um, similar number of ephemera uh, that's around 20 plus, 25 to 26 maybe a bit more, not less. And again it has a front pocket, I'm sorry, it has a front pocket. This is again a journal card from Andrea's website. Uh, this is a removable bulb pin. Um, so again I've done a lot of lace work on the cover and at the back there is a journal card. Here is the postcard that goes in. Let me show you the front first. So this is the front. It's very similar to the previous one but not same. So there is a coin pocket sort of thing that goes in. Just a second. And a tag. And then again one of those collaged pockets. Some large journal tag. These are from Stamperia papers. Um, again I've done the same thing. I've attached some beads with a tab. Some blank page again some collaged pockets and I've used some tags from my stash um, some pom pom trim again some this is a stamp area journal card you can see I've just folded that so some stenciling some grid paper, again some papers from my stash and here again you see this is a collaged pocket again one of those um, jelly bean soup pockets with tiny ephemera and the vellum envelope with some more ephemera so basically the elements are more or less same but there are slight differences here and there so this is a CD envelope with a t you know round tag that comes with it I'm not taking it off okay uh, and I've kept the CD envelope floating because then you can use it anywhere um, some doily some blue paper some book page some stenciling that I've done some pockets again some collage elements some blue pom pom trim again a rolodex pocket of sorts and I've done the same thing you know the vellum pocket sort of thing that I had shown there is a tiny ephemera inside you can use it anywhere you like so some vintage book page and some silk ruffle some book page that I've added some journaling spot to this is another envelope that I have done some collage and it has double pockets so you get one pocket, one journal card inside here. Just let me move this here and one journal card at the back. Tag. Sorry, some vellum. Some, uh, this is the middle of the signature. So you have some journal cards inside. Yeah. So some journal card over here and some journal card. I think yeah. So sorry. So this is another journal card that goes in. This is a. Uh, th these are one opens from the top and the other opens from the side. So. So that's it and some vellum page 
again I've done some gesso you can write over here also again some writing spot with die cuts um, some ruffles and this is a vintage book that I have on wildflowers uh, some journal tag large journal tag some tuck spot so. again I've done some collage over here uh, some tags that coordinate sort of thing with a bluish theme some vintage printable book page some doily again that envelope it comes with an ephemera of sorts so it says greetings and this goes on okay this has to be uh, I should put a paper clip to this okay so this is a side tuck and again I've dyed these um, places and here you can see again one of the bead charms this is the other side of the page again I've done some collage and here is another journal card these are also hand dyed um, just as I said when I don't get the desired color I dye my own laces um, again some stamperia ephemera this is also hand dyed so there are various shades of blue that you will see and that is only because I have high hand dyed them so this is another journal card the world is a wheel and it will all come round right uh, I really wish it happens uh, again some collage that I have done blank page there's lots of writing space basically my journals are uh, all about writing spaces so this is a big tag that I have these laces are all hand dyed so again that Tim Holtz photo group tag I'm not going to take everything out but I'm just going to give you a glimpse of what you get you get lots of tiny stuff you know all tucked inside because it's going to take ages for me to put them inside so this is another doily that you get just as the previous one this is a die cut that I've used and some scrap uh, I've made some tags out of scraps some jelly bean soup pockets um, there is a general card let me yeah. so there is a general card this is a little bit on the grayish side heavily collaged with lace trims and all sorts of things and at the back you have another lace pocket with a journal card it says postcard so this is blue winter so they are going to be listed in my shop um, they are listed in my shop right now but the video link was not working so I decided to redo the video basically so thank you everybody for watching this. I hope you like these journals because uh, these are the only two winter journals that I have in my shop. I don't know if I'm going to do any winter journals. Last time I had done a ton of Christmas journals but I'm not sure about this this time. Uh, because shipping is taking too long. Maybe I will do uh, some Christmas journals um, but I'm not sure about that. So thank you everybody for watching this and bye. Have a great day.